Thanks very much for tuning in again. This is episode number 10 already. I have a little surprise for you towards the end of the webinar. Uh, but first, there is a few things that I want to say before I show you the photo that we're going to talk about. First of all, I've had some feedback. Uh, thank you very much, everyone who watches, but also everyone who writes comments or asks questions. Thanks very much for that. Uh, so two of the mo most important points of feedback are one, that I should smile more. Okay, so I'll do my best. Um, and uh, two, uh, that maybe three times a week is a little bit much. It seems like the offer uh, of webinars has skyrocketed uh, in the last few weeks and people don't really know anymore what to tune into. So um, I'm gonna take that to heart and I will now post webinars twice a week from today onwards. So this is the second one this week, today is Wednesday. The next one is going to be on Monday the 11th of May. And from there on forward, I'm going to change it to Mondays and Thursdays uh, until we reach the, let me see, 25th of May, uh, on which we will see the final of the 15 webinars. So keep that in mind. I also want to remind you that the webinars will uh, remain online on the book website, whyicryonairplanes.com slash webinars. So you can always look them up. You can refer your friends to them. If there's a specific one that you enjoyed, you can send it to someone, you can share them on your social media, whatever you want. So the webinars will remain there. Another point I want to make is I want to really thank all the viewers who have received the book through Oxfam Novib. Oxfam is an NGO or one of the NGOs uh, that I work with and that I wholeheartedly also support in their work. And uh, they have a kind of a book club. Uh, it has thousands of members and all of them at the beginning of this year have received copies of the book uh, as part of their subscription. And I was really proud of that. I was really, really grateful for that. And uh, they have also been promoting the webinars. And so I just want to say a special welcome to those of you who are watching uh, from that group of people and uh, readers. I hope you're enjoying uh, the webinars as much as I am. And finally, the one thing that I should have mentioned earlier, and uh, I hope it's not too late for that, but I do want to make sure that I, that I have never given the uh, impression that any of the projects that I do, I do alone. And uh, specifically uh, when we go out shooting, uh, all of the trips that uh, I've spoken about in the last few webinars. Uh, also the photography assignments, it's very, very rare that I work alone. Uh, and so there are always, there's always a team involved and uh, you know all of these people deserve equal credit for all of the work that we're doing. But specifically for the book, I want to mention uh, my designer, Simon Kuiper. He's a really, really top-notch quality designer, but also a really, really top-notch quality human being. And um, I'm really proud that he was willing to, uh, to design the book and uh, really elevate it to a, a new level, a level that I could never really dream of. And, um, and also the uh, lithographer, Sebastian Hanekroot, and we had a, a print manager who managed the whole printing process, which was Jos Morey. Those three guys together really, really had a really great uh, influence on the quality of the book, and I'm really grateful for that. So I just want to have that said. This is not a one-man band. Uh, finally, let's go, well not finally, but let's go to the photograph we're gonna talk about and which is gonna bring about a little surprise at the end, like I said, and it's this collection of human beings that uh, I'm gonna talk about in this episode. Now, if part of the feedback is that I should smile more, I can tell you that it's this photo that definitely makes me smile. It brings back great memories. Um, this photo was taken in January of 2015. I was in Nairobi and uh, we were working on a documentary for a human rights organization called Human Rights in a Picture. Now, the person in the back row with the glasses on, that's Emma Reed. She's one of the people that supported us during the preparation of the documentary that we were making in Nairobi. And um, as we were spending time together, Imma also started talking to me about a photo project that she had in mind. Now, she had been preparing with her friends, which are the people on this picture, a project about body politics. Body politics is all about how the human body is being used politically, both by politicians, but also by the media, and particularly, of course, the female body, and also particularly within kind of the LGBTI community. Um, 
And they had this photo project all cooked up. They had it all ready to go. They had all the poses. They had all the ideas behind it, but they didn't have a photographer. And so uh, she ended up asking me whether I wanted to be that photographer. And of course I said yes. And um, I just remember it to be quite late towards uh, my visit to Nairobi. Um, that one day we had a meeting, the next day we were shooting and uh, shooting photographs. And the day after I was already on the flight home. It was something like that. And uh, in about a time span of four or five hours at night, we took these photographs on top of a high rise building uh, in the city. And one of my favorite photographs came out of that session. And it's this one. And this one is actually uh, on the wall in my office. Uh, and again, there is my friend Imma. better understand exactly the dynamic of uh, what this exhibition is all about, I spoke to Emma yesterday and asked her to contribute something herself. And uh, she did with uh, lots of energy and enthusiasm. And so let's have a look at that now. Hello, my name is Emma Reed. I work for Artists for Recognition and Acceptance Kenya, which is a collective of bisexual, lesbian, and queer identifying persons. We use art for advocacy and reimagine what healing could look like with the tools we have in place. Uh, we have been lucky enough to forge a partnership with Cohen, in particularly one project called Queer Mesh, in which we were trying to observe and show the body politics of queer women in Nairobi. Uh, some of the pieces that are featured in the book negotiate race, gender, and emotions within queer women in a space and a country whereby our humanity and our citizenry is always in check. By body politics, I mean the negotiation of power via bodies and also featuring how that is translated by the state. Uh, we are quite excited, still are. The project has now been to only two countries, Brazil and South Africa. We were hoping for a total of 10 or more and as many continents as possible and mostly to feature it to be persons of color and see whether that can elevate the conversation and humanize in the very least what lesbian or bisexual of queer women in Nairobi look like. Yeah, we are happy to be part of this. Yeah, tell us what you feel. Find us on our social media. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't she just the most wonderful person? I mean, really. Okay, so um, that's the story behind uh, those photographs. Uh, I have to say, uh, 2015, when we photographed this exhibition, it came out in 2016. Um, and also the film that we were shooting there was the start of a period that I've done more work around themes uh, related to the rights of uh, people of the LGBTI community. And uh, I'm dedicating several episodes uh, to some of the work that's also found its way in the book. Uh, and I've left it for now because on the 17th of May is IDAHOT. And IDAHOT is the International Day Against Homo and Transphobia, uh, which is being celebrated more and more uh, broadly and widely by more and more people in the world. Um, many activities, um, screenings, uh, activist meetings, educational activities are organized. Uh, and obviously something that, uh, that I'm very happy about. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it here. Next week's photograph is the one with the little green paper. And it's actually uh, a still from another exhibition. The exhibition is called Preferred Pronouns. And um, I'll tell you all about it uh, next week. Um, you can order the book on whyicryonairplanes.com and you can also see the remaining webinars if you haven't seen them yet on that very same website. And I'll put a little discount code on the screen right now so you can get a 25% discount on your purchase if you don't own a book yet. And uh, that leaves me to thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Don't forget, uh, not on Friday. It's going to be on Monday, the 11th of May at 4 p.m. Thank you. Mm -hmm.